All right, we're back with another edition of Best of the Rest Free Agents. Still the free agents that's lingering out there looking for a job. All veteran free agents. We're talking about wide receiver Darius Bryant, former Dallas Cowboy, and had a short tenure last year with the New Orleans Saints where he blew out his, eight, uh, his Achilles, I think it was, uh, in practice. And they said they would love to have him back, but let's chop it up. Obviously, the Lions was interested in signing Dante Emmon. He ended up going to the New England Patriots. They picked up. Travis Fogham out of Old Dominion, the rookie receiver, um, who, you know what I'm saying, going to be a rookie. Got great athletic ability, but uh, pretty much still got to learn the game. So pretty much the roster look, right, look like uh, uh, Jones, Galladay, however you want to put one or two, Avondola in the slot, Brandon Powell, and uh, Tommy Lee Lewis. See, they don't have another big receiver. Um, they have a whole bunch of small guys that can play the slot, play on the outside. So that's why I thought Dontrell Emmett would have been a good fit. Obviously, his price was out of the uh, Lions' range. Now, I don't think the Lions believe that um, that full count might be able to contribute this year. Um, they always can bring back T.J. Jones, who I thought was going to have a big year last year, but uh, just didn't. Even when people you know got injured and he was healthy, he just never really produced. So, uh, But I, I think... I think Darius Bryant would be somebody to look at. I'm not saying that he would be an ideal fit, but he's a bigger receiver. They say he could just learn to play the slot, don't run precise uh, routes. Uh, so he may not be a perfect fit, but hey, somebody go down to camp or somebody ain't producing, you know, you get a young vet uh, or older vet at a good price. Uh, Darius Bryant still can go out there and high point the ball, he still can give you a red zone presence. And also, you know, he can mentor some of the other receivers as well on little nuances of the game. But I don't see it being an ideal fit. Um, but it does get him another six, was he about six two, six three receiver? Better than the smaller receivers. They got Powell five nine, Madola around five ten, five eleven. Tommy Lee Lewis, he don't look that tall. So it gives you and, and fall him is six three. It gives you a dynamic, you know what I'm saying? Give you veteran. You're not asking Des Brown to go out there and play every snap of the game, go catch a hundred balls. You're not asking him to do that, but you know, you ask him to, to play here and there, spell here and there, but obviously I think he got championship ambitions and the world is to be a great home for him. But, you know, I don't really see him being the fit. You know, uh, a guy that was out of shape, he bought, he back running routes, a guy that was bigger, he was an Asian star that depended on his athletic ability, never really learned how to hone his routes. But, you know, I wouldn't fought the Lions for trying at some point if somebody went down, but right now, um, I don't think it's really an open position for them. So they see what they got with Fogham and Lewis and them. And then I think you see guys start peeling back. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, uh, he probably going to be a practice team player. Oh, we might going to cut him. Or oh, he got injured. So then when you get to that point, you're going to have injuries. You're going to have guys that don't live up to expectations. You're going to have rookies who don't come in and steal a spot. You're going to have rookies that come in and steal a roster spot. You know, you're going to have guys that have from last year. So it'll be very, very interesting to see how it plays out for Des Bryant. But, I don't see Detroit being a destination. I think Louisiana with New Orleans was perfect. Not too far from Texas. Right there, you know, probably Los Angeles Rams. Another team he could back up. The few of them guys there he could play, you know, behind Robert Woods, Cooks, and uh, Cooper Cup when he uh, recover. The San Diego Chargers might be another one. But I think he really want to stay that way. But with the Detroit with the Detroit Lions, I just, you know, if somebody go down, you, you never really know. You know, he might come in and be an ideal fit. He may come in and not be able to do nothing, Okay. Uh, and Stafford's not one to throw a lot of guys open. You know, Drew Brees will throw you open, pinpoint accurate, just a cerebral quarterback, and I just don't see Stafford on that level yet uh, being the guy that can throw him open. I think he a level of Dakota Prescott where, you know, shit got to be perfect for him. But he got more of an aggressive mentality, too, than Prescott. Prescott, it got to be perfect for him to drop the ball in the bucket. And I will say Stafford's probably a little bit more consistent with his accuracy and he's a little bit more of a gunslinger, so he's going to get Dez Bryant some opportunities to catch some good, tough balls. But I think Dez Bryant's future is going to be with the New Orleans Saints, in my opinion. Um, or if not, he's going to be at home retiring. Hopefully he makes some great business investments with the rest of his life. But, hey, it is what it is, man. Motor City Sports Talk. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video request. And we will proceed to go on with the draft spotlight for the Pistons today, the draft draft lottery. I have a special video coming up before the lottery hit. A couple special videos coming up Piston wise, so pay attention. Motor City Sports Talking Boy CJ Goodfellow, one time for the one time. Appreciate everybody for following us on both channels. We're gone.